Hey guys, Chris T here, NS Horse at SD70, uh, coming to you with something new, a little D-Rail Valley, yes sir. D-Rail Valley. Haven't played, uh, I've I played this a little bit, I just put some new mods in it, so I'm going to try them out and uh, showcase it to you guys. Right now we are here on the map, as you can see, at the Machine Factory in town, and uh, I got a bunch of uh, auto racks here I want to take. I think I'm going to take this train right here. This FHO3. It's going to the goods factory in town, which is over here. This is a nice fast run too. I, I, I'm working on my own timetable for it. I'm setting my own speeds for the game so far. So, um, so this will actually be a really nice run. We'll get to move real fast. Uh, I'm not really worried about the uh, the time limit on it. But let's go ahead and put it in the validator. Oh, actually, I want to do something before I do this. Uh, let's see here. Some things I really don't. Loco, man, remote, manual. What's this? The steam engine guide, the shovel, the lo There's a lost and found here. I think I could just pitch these in here. I really don't need them right now. So. Just bear with me. I haven't played this in a while. So. The Steam Quick Guide, either right now. So those should stay there. Station map, logo, remote manual. I really don't need the, the remote. Ah, uh, no, I better take it just in case. Okay, alrighty. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and drop this in the goods factory in town. Yep. Go drop this in the validator. Alright, we have the job. Got it. Got to. Uh, I turn the pages. You used to be able to click turn the pages. Uh oh. Did they change some? Well, that's not good. Huh. <laughs> I don't, uh. Turn the ah, there we go. Scroll wheel. Okay, there's our watch. Okay, so we're gonna take this train. Powers over here. I'm gonna double up these two units. I got uh, I got the MU engine mod on, so we're gonna try that. We have to take these cars here. They show as loads. This 35. Nope, they're over on 010. Should be these over here. I can actually teleport and move faster. All right, let's see. Take the cars off of 010. Okay, so the whole train's one solid piece, according to this. Where's 010? Where's the 010 sign? It's been a while since I played this, so I gotta get my bearings back in it. 06. Oh, they're over here. Yeah, there we go. 17. No, that's not it either. What world are they? Oh, they're over here. Okay, yeah, there's. It's like a wheel report, see? We got uh, 31, 30. Okay, yep, this is it. Be our lead engine right here. The zero. Okay. Flip all the breakers and turn it on. Okay. We'll be running long hood forward technically today.
I'm getting. Alright, knuckled in. Alright, we're knuckled up. Now, let's see. Probably to come up with some kind of... Gonna fire this up. Okay. It should be MU together now. The headlight's awfully bright. set up, so the mod never explained it. Leave the headlight off since it's going to be the trailing unit for this trip. Well, let's, let's try it. Uh, let's see something here. Check the air gauge. What's the air gauge say? Brake pipe. Okay. Let's see if uh, the release here does anything on that. Alright, I got a release here. I got a release there. Is there an RPM fuel thing? No RPM at the moment. Let's just see if I can, if it'll throttle up when I do anything here. That's good. Yes! Alright, awesome. Well, well let's, let's head out toward the uh, yard lead out there and go get our train. Try to keep it about 15. Now, I've never done this with two units, so we're going to have to see how this responds. Yep. 
we're all lined up. It's me, Hot Auto Parts Train FHO3. Watch our little meter right here. Tell us how close we are to the cars. Test on the from the engine up here. Wish the headlight wasn't so bright that way. I think it's both ways actually, but alright. Just do a quick release here. Here's the air. There's an application. Okay, alright, it's pretty much good to go. Comes the release. We're in reverse. down here too. Make sure I got a hold of everything and make sure it's all moving. It is. I have a coupler mod installed so the coupler is now pretty tight. Not a whole lot of slack anymore. Alright, we'll clear the yard limits. I got my world map here. I know my speeds. downhill once you clear the yard lead out here at uh, the machine factory it's it'll push me out of here we'll have to keep an eye on the train too once we clear the yard limits we'll pick it up out of here. We are currently on what I call the city subdivision. It's coming down a little. We'll have to play with the air a little bit and take some off. This is my city subdivision. It runs from the machine factory in town over here on the left down to city southwest and then across to the steel mill. That's the city sub. So that's where we are right now in my little Real Valley World. A little more release, trying to get the speed back up. This next switch we're coming up to is called Highland. I've named everything. So these are not the end game names for things. That's Highland. Then the next, the second switch down here in the valley near my pointer will be MO. And all moves through MO are 25 mile an hour due to how steep they are. 
so. Pull nicely. See where I'm looking too, so there's actually, there's a railroad across, not this river, but on the other side, on that valley, on the other side, there's actually tracks running over there too. So. Doing good. Bringing her down. Straight move at Highland. It's it's an easy switch, so it's 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 good for 30 coming down through here, and then he said that next switch we're coming to is Mo. And once we clear that, we're good for 60. About to do 25 around the wide SW, and then uh, should be good for a good bit down through there. Speed. I'm just put just a touch touch air on there. Settle, see what it does. We're actually coming into ammo here, so I'll actually start getting it down a little bit for that 25. A lot of improvements have been made to this game too. They've 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 fixed quite a few things. Developers are very active. It is early access, but the developers are pretty active with it. So it's like a fun like mini simulator. It's not like full scale sim, but it still presents a challenge. So, all right, we're down to 25 for MO. Knock a little more air off. Yeah, she's holding nicely right there. Lean your head out the window. The good thing about having these two units MU together is they won't overheat as fast. You'll have two doing the same work, so. And put a little touch air on here. Now you can see why this is 25. This curve's sharp. Right here. So I just made the whole switch 25 for the diverging move through here because it's so freaking sharp. And Andrew got the air all knocked off. It'll be tough to look back. Sometimes I'll hop down too. Let's see where my rear end's at. I should be alright now though, here in a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna say we're good. I'm going to give it a couple notches here. Alright, we're good for 60. Let's get, get cracking here. Just open it wide open here. Open it up, see what she'll do. I think we're downhill. 
clear. Up it up a little bit. Come on, baby, let's go. I know it'll do 60, I've done it before, I've tested all these speeds. Keep an eye on where we're at. Make sure we get it down to 25 by SW. How about a roll by? Let's get a run by. Out too. Gotta make sure switches are lined up. Alright. We're lined through SW, through the 25. See this curve sharp? This would not be a fun curve to go through too fast. Well, we ain't going in a little bit. Alright, we're good 40 to Oil Junction, which will be not this next junction here, but the the third one up here, or the second one up here.
sure is good for 40. I think I've done 40 through here before. We'll find out. Definitely, it took it, but I don't think I'd make that 40. I might have to put a timetable amendment in there. It, it made it, but okay. Go back to... Next curve here is only good for 40, according to my timetable. Once I clear that, I'm good for 60 all the way to farm. Mm, excuse me, farm. Yeah, see how sharp this is right here. If we clear this, we'll be good for 60 to, f to the farm. And then when I get to the south end of the farm, I have to get it down to 50. So. So we'll see how that goes. Clear that curve yet? Okay, I think we're clear. Let's get her back to 60. Oh, a little wheel slip. Oh, she didn't like that. Let's go start loading again. There we go. You went two units. She didn't like that. Temperature there, they're getting kind of warm. Oh, I can zoom in on the map. All right, this is Oil Well Central. All right, we got a coast. I always like to blow my horn for it, pull into places, but we got a coast. She's overheating down there, so. We'll just try to coast it all the way through. I wonder if the second one's overheating. Yep. Well, even both units, they didn't. I they wonder if they, uh. I wonder if they run hot regardless. That's interesting. We're still doing 55 and the engines are cooling down, so. Alright, we're good for. I guess it's 60, all the way to the south end of the farm, then we're good for 50, then 25 through steel junctions limits up here, so. Yeah, they've done a lot of work here. There used to be like grass would be on the track and there'd be trees sometimes and rocks and stuff. They've done a really great job of cleaning it up. This is the farm. One thing I always check when I come into these places too is to make sure my uh, switches are aligned. So we're not gonna come, we're not gonna roll too hard through here, but because I want my engines to cool down. Because we're gonna have to, I think there's a small hill through steel junctions, so we'll have to pull that. Whoops, that's a bug too. They never fixed it. Oh boy. Some of the finest Yugos Europe can offer. Alrighty. Get back in. Alright, we're down to 50 anyway, so. That goes out to the forest up there on the hill. Down to 50. Yep, right on schedule, right on target. And that goes back there. This That goes up to a logging camp up on the hill there. Check our switches to steel junction up here across the river. I think when we get to where we're going, we gotta put the thing away too. A couple cars on I-05. So let's see, world map, we're going to goods factory in town. So I'll just get my station map set to goods factory in town. Switch is 
good. Just need to get the getter down on speed a little bit. Put the air on. Just because the curves are sharp. Coming in a little hot. But this straight moves okay. If I was going to the right, I definitely want to get my speed down. Knock the air off. Let the hill slow me down. Yeah, if I'm curving right, going that way, I definitely want my uh, want my speed down. It'll drop here. We'll have to start yanking on it. And it's cooled down though. That's good. So we're going to way yank on it. Oops. Okay, so this is Steel Junction. We're going through here this Y. The steel mill's on the other side. And then there's a nice straight stretch all the way out through there. I'm going to find the timetable for it. Um, okay, here we go. Knees off a bit. Switches look good. It's okay to run through them. I don't mind running through them. Test of this stuff, it should all be good for these speeds. Up here, when we go back, we're going to cross the river right here. When we go back across the river, those curves are only good for 50. I'm trying to get it back to 60 now after that. It's a little inexperience on my part. River subdivision because the river is literally just right over there, it follows it very closely, nice and flat level. Yeah, she's starting to get a little hot. We'll run it in the yellow for a little bit, knock it back down up here. Keep right up 
swamp either. You're doing great. Let's look at all the cars with me, get the autos behind me. It's a good looking train. There's the river out there. We're getting ready to come back to it. Yeah, let's see. Curves to Black's Run 60. Junction is the East Branch switch. Okay. Where are we at on speed? I'm trying to put a lawyer on here. There you go. Got it right down for the curves. This is uh, this is the curves here. They're good for 50. We get on the other side of the river. What we'll to get it down to 25 for? Uh, River Junction, up toward Goods Factory Town. This is where we're going, right? I know it's a little late to be figuring that out, but... Goods Factory and Town, yep. You see it over on the right side of my map right here. Try to keep track of where I'm at. about these and just can't see out of them. Navigate the. Uh, oh, that's not a problem. She stayed on. Okay. I don't know if that'd be an issue or not. Um, let's see your station map. We'll have to go straight. Right at SW, where it says SW, that's the southwest. We'll come straight through the outer loop and then down in, and then we'll take the first right and then back to the left for IO5. Park it, validate the job, and get paid. Branch. Here we go. It's picking up nicely.
viaduct out there in the distance. We should be to the tunnel. down a little bit because we got to be looking, checking our switches on the other side so see the headlights are actually working knock them down no light light all right we needed to like I said we needed straight moves right through here good and good both both are good. Just kind of, I think 20 was my yard speed. We'll just bop around at 20. Make some noise for this switch crew up here. Actually, let the engine cool down a little bit. I may not even like that. Now, say you're here in the city now, and the game's been updated to the point where, like, bringing this in will now empty these cars. You'll have to take these cars back to a a town with a factory or something in them to be loaded again. So. Need to go through the outer loop, and we're lined for the outer loop. So, this is the what is this called again? Goods factory in town. So, and now the game, the save. Now, ever, it used to be when you close the game, it wouldn't save the state of everything. Now, when you bring the game back up, these engines will need fuel and water, oil maybe, you know, so. Like, these engines, like that one that was sitting back there on the stub will be there. These two will still be together. So, you can, like, designate these as road power and leave them somewhere. And you can let that other unit over there be your switcher for the town, you know. So, you can do what you want to do with it kind of pull your resources, figure out how you want to handle things. There's some flat cars over there. Looks like some intermodal containers and such. right at the second switch and then back to the left in for IO5.
Straight through that one, then back to the right, then back in for I-05. Yep, and I can read the sign I-05. Awesome. We just need to uncouple. So we'll pull in, put it into clear, cut away from it, and go validate the job. We are coasting right now, so we'll just throw a little air on. Looks like some flat cars here ready to go. Yeah, and then these cars will be empty, these these autos, and you have to take the empties back. You can combine trains too, so you could like combine all these cars together to start making like big trains and stuff like that, you know. If you feel adventurous. Should be looking out this window, I guess, actually. trailer red for the cut drop it pull ahead a little bit make sure both the engines go and that'll do in full apply all right we are done I'll leave them idle here for a minute until I find the yard office there's the yard office take your job in validate Completed. All right, we did the bonus time. If we did it in 53 minutes, we got a bonus. If we did it in 40, if we did it in 53 minutes, we got the bonus. And if we did it in 45, yeah, you know, if we did it under 53, we got the bonus. So we did it under the bonus. <sighs> Made 20 grand on that job. That paid well. So now the the cars I brought in should be here on the table now. Unload and store a train with new cars. From yeah, see, so right here. This is the train I bought in. Right here. So. Where do they want to go, exactly? See, they changed this, too. It used to tell you what you were going to have to do before um, you did it. Now, you have to accept the job because people were... They found a way to set this up so you could go out, set the train up, then validate the job and take off. And you um, could skip that part of the, the job. So, and here's your industry chain. I'll scoot back so I can zoom a little bit. Yeah, because this all matters now. Like what you do, you can take logs from the forest, the sawmill, creates lumber, and then that is delivered and it literally will create, There's a there's a chain. There's an economic chain in the game. And um, as, as it progresses and continues, it'll get more and more um, um, interesting. You can do more things. Now here, I brought those two units in, and I they had a lot of fuel missing, but there's no diesel servicing here. See the diesel service up here, that orange dot? There's no diesel servicing facilities here. That light power, well, that, that power will have to probably go back to steel mill to be serviced. Like, see this, what's this here? Oh, empty cars to steel mill. Deliver tools to harbor in town. Well, that's way down there. And then haul empty cars to oil well central. So you could combine your steel mill cars with your oil well cars. Take them to the steel mill, drop them in route, maybe cut that power away. Well, there's there's servicing here, but and then go on to the oil well, and then set those cars in at the oil well, and just you can combine your jobs. So and there's all kind of stuff you can do. It's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty interesting game. Um, like I said, the developers are very active. The community um, uh, unlocks are progressing. They're currently working on that. They had. Un they have things um, you can unlock. Uh, the more people like it on Twitter, Facebook, follow it on Discord. Uh, they've already unlocked hazardous material jobs, a new locomotive, the remote control, which right here. This is a. This allows you to remotely control your locomotive. That was added as part of that. So, 
they are very active with the game, keeping it, uh, whoa, that was weird, keeping it um, up to date and keeping things uh, moving with it. So that was a little taste of it. Um, we'll do some more things with it. Uh, maybe next time we'll get the steam engine. I have a automatic fireman mod, which will allow the, the engine will maintain its water level in the boiler and its fire, and it will keep the engine running so you can concentrate on running the engine. So... Uh, I, I might, maybe I'll goof with that next time. Maybe goof with, uh, maybe we'll spawn in some pasture cars or something. Or just haul some freight, you know. I have another mod here where I can, I can move anywhere. I can fast travel now. So the modding community is, it's fish, it's unofficially supported. None of it's on the workshop. Uh, you have to get it through a third party. But, um, you know, it's, it's addressed some things that the developers, it's not their real prime concern right now. Before the cars, like, see how these cars are nice and tight before there'd be like several oh, i mean there might be like you know several feet of slack in them cars and it was really messed with train handling you gotta be very careful and um that fixed that you know there was something that's oh there was one that made the flat cars not derail as easily because you know it was just there's just some balances and people have reskinned things and, and so the, the game is really taking off the community is very popular it's active the developers are active i think Build 77. So every time they launch an update, that's a build. And when I when I first bought this game like six or eight months ago, there were like two options in this menu: settings and quit, and that was it. So they've added all this stuff: teleporting, restarting, refreshing. They've added all of that stuff. So yeah, there's all that stuff I took with me. Oh, I don't have the manual anymore. Yeah, well. Um. So yeah, the game has come a long way. Uh, in just a short amount of time, too. Uh, maybe I'll take this power and set it over. Yeah, we'll get. Let's let's set this power over here real quick. Just get it out of the way so it's not blocking the stub track here. This game has very much so come a long way. Humble beginnings, and uh, it's just whoops. Will that tell you which way it'll throw that switch? Oh, it tells you which way it's currently lined. That's neat. I don't remember that. Yeah, we'll park. Let's park his power in here. There we go. All right, that'll do right there. Breakers. Oh, there it went out. It's the same thing. You're gonna knock all that crap down. You can listen to a shutdown. Yeah, you see the needles dropping even after the engine shuts down. Let me flip that again. See if that, 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 there we go. Okay. So, yeah. Nice and quiet. Good lord, those things are loud. I'm not looking forward to replaying this recording and seeing just how loud it was and if I could even be heard during that entire trip. But that's our first uh, first playthrough of Derail Valley. Uh, I'll show you. We started up here on the left at Machine Factory in town. See my little gallery moves all the points all the way across. It literally went straight across the map, but we had to go all the way down around the valley and ended up at Goods Factory in town with the cut these cut of auto racks. So when I leave the game, they should be here. So next time you could either scooch them to the track they want them to for unloading, or we could assemble a train and take it out of here. Or I could even I could even use my my spawn mod and go somewhere else. So if I want to, I have to figure out what one of these mean. Make sure I get the right one. But if I wanted to hop over to 
the coal mine or the iron ore mine or whatever, I could do it. So, but that is Derail Valley. I will, uh, as you can tell through my channel and everything, uh, trains are about like 95% of my hobby that I like to do. <laughs> uh, trains and video games. So this is like combining it all together right here with the run age streams and everything. So anything trains I'm all about. And so this has been this has been a lot of fun since this come out because it's like a, a really laid back simulator on a smaller scale, so you can get things done and not spend hours on it. Like I love Run 8, but sometimes to go across a route can take six hours or more, and that's like half of a, an FRA shift, like the maximum allowed FRA time, what <laughs> duty time we're allowed to have on the railroad. So, but this here in an hour, you can move a whole train from town to town in an hour, and feel like you accomplished something so it's nice to get it on a small scale but that's derail valley and we're definitely going to do some more so keep your eyes peeled for uh for that so thanks for watching guys uh hopefully you'll pick it up check it out it's on steam literally just derail valley on steam there is a uh actually the big attraction is it is vr and i don't have vr but they come out with this non-VR version, and it is, it's extremely playable the way it is. There's nothing wrong with it. You can do it either way. But the VR version, which I'd love to try, uh, is quite popular. So you can get it for VR, or you can get it for non-VR, and uh, it's on Steam. So check it out. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys, um, uh, and take care.